Wilderness in Stockton, Illinois. It's a retreat getaway with three cottages on the property. I'm staying in one of them. It's a beautiful place of contemplation, prayer, and solitude. Why don't you come with me and explore some wildlife and paint something exciting? Okay, we're going to do a pastel painting with a watercolor underwash. What you see here is an ampersand pastel board that I have and I drew the birdhouse in graphite. We're going to start with cobalt blue watercolor and we're going to paint the sky. Don't worry what the color shows up right now because it's going to lighten up and we're going to add pastel on top of it when everything's dry. The background trees are is cobalt blue and sap green mixed together. I just want to cover the ampersand board and lay down some color so that I'm not using all of my pastel supplies on the painting. This also gives it a 3D effect when you put watercolor in the background, let it dry, and put pastel on top of it. Okay, on the bottom for the ground, I'm using sepia watercolor. I'm adding a little darker color to the background trees, which was cobalt and sap green. When it dries, it dries pretty light, so I have to add some darks just to keep it dark. I don't really care about the drips on the bottom. Here I'm adding some romber and give it a little reddish tone and some background tree color on the very bottom. I'm pulling up some grasses. This is going to be in the, in the distance and we gotta let this dry. Now I'm painting some sky blue color to the birdhouse and some sepia to the birdhouse just to define it. That is the fence post. I add with a little bit of sepia. And now I let the whole painting dry completely. I'm adding some pastel. I'm taking some sky color, some light blue. I'm not going to cover everything on the pastel board, only certain places. I like the 3D effect, so you have to let some of that watercolor show through. I'm adding sky holes to the trees. A little bit of a lighter blue on the far distance in the sky. I'm blending it with my fingers. Now I'm coming in here and I'm adding some background trees with a very dark blue. All the names of the colors of the pastels are in the bottom, in the information in the bottom of the video. I'm using Rembrandt's, Rembrandt Soft Pastels. I'm adding some, some lilac color here to give it some distance in pastel. And we're going to deepen that color, deepen some blues to make these trees seem like they're way far in the back and not, not really up close. Making sure I'm going around this birdhouse so that the birdhouse pops. We want it to stand out, so we want to give it a nice dark background. Blending the colors with my fingers using some more of this deep blue color, deep blue Rembrandt color for more trees. Careful not to cover my sky holes so that we could see through these trees. Okay, now I'm going to add a touch of green just to pull these trees a little bit closer the front part of the tree just a little bit closer but I'm not going to cover everything so you see that lilac purple in the in the way distance you see a little bit of a blue it gives it like a 3D dimension and all the colors will be listed in the bottom of the video these are all going to be Rembrandt soft pastels
Okay, for the ground we're using a little bit of uh, like a brick color here to get some of this ground. A little bit of a lighter color. A lighter amber color just to make it stick out. This birdhouse is at the very end of Christ in the Wilderness on the trail. When you walk their beautiful trails, um, if you keep going to the very, very furthest point of the property, this birdhouse lines the property. And on the other side of the property is a farm. Okay, I'm, I'm putting some uh, green texture in the front with some blue underneath that just gives it dimension. I'm careful not to cover everything but let some of this show through pushing up the green grasses and I'm going to define some lighter green colors for the grasses in the foreground you want to get a little bit more detail than the background you don't really want to paint individual leaves on the trees in the background because they're so far back there that you really can't distinguish between them but you could suggest with different strokes but your eye can't really pick out individual leaves so you leave the detail for the foreground adding a little bit of a lighter green just to give it dimension so that the background isn't so flat now I'm starting to work on the birdhouse and put some dark blue to define it dark sepia getting the fence post there with the dark sepia blending some more and now I'm putting in some foreground grasses just a little bit here I'm not going to be able to work too much with these thick pastels because you know they're pretty thick but if you use the very edge you could you could get a nice definition blending in the bottoms pretty soon I'm going to switch over to uh, pastel pencils so that we can really define some some details here this video is part one of two and in the next video I will show you how to make these details pop out. I'm just reinforcing the fence and the post, making it darker. You can already see that everything is looking a little more dimensional here. And in video 202 I will show you how to finish this pastel painting of a birdhouse. Thank you very much.